<laughs> Hi, welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. Are you ready to do a fantastic painting? It has been requested that I do a Bob Ross tutorial. I am a bit frightened to do this, seeing as my best piece of painting is this. We're gonna be following a Bob Ross tutorial. I do have my supplies. I have my various paint brushes. I have my towel, my water. I don't know where, I usually have like this uh, piece of glass that I put my paint on, but I don't have it. So I'm just gonna use this piece of cardboard for now. Really not a big deal. I have the video right here in front of me and then I have my canvas right here. Also, yes, my hair is not okay. It's not combed or anything. I'm literally in my pajamas. I'm recording this in the morning. Anyways, we are gonna be following Bob Ross's tutorial called Mountain Reflections, season 12, episode two. It's covered in liquid white, which means I have to do that thing where he lathers the whole thing in white. So give me a second to do that. Okay, just covered the canvas in white. Now we can begin with the video. The touch is very strong, very strong. And I'm gonna reach up here and grab a touch of the midnight black and put it in there. So now we have black and blue. I'm not sure what he's doing, but Looks like he's just trying to get a little bit of the blue, so I'll try to get a little bit of the blue out as well. And then he's taking a little bit of this black to make it a dark blue. Ooh, I think I did too much black. <laughs> oh, we're building a happy little sky now. Oh my God. Okay, well I added way too much black. As you can see, his blue is blue. Mine is not the normal. <laughs> always wanted to be lighter toward the horizon and darker on the top and bottom. Hi, welcome back to Can You Paint Better Than a Preschooler? The answer is no. So this is just not turning out very well. Um, as you can see in his video, it's very soft. It's not like dark blue. Um, yeah. <laughs> So this isn't turning out good at all. Tell you what, while we have this old dirty brush going, I'm gonna go right back into my blue. Back and we're going back blue. into the blue. And the black, same old colors. And let's have some water in this painting. I'd love to paint water and pull inward. Start at the bottom and work up. That way, automatically, once again, it gets lighter and lighter toward the horizon. I really just don't know at this point. Like, I feel like I'm being attacked by Bob Ross right now. I really just can't do this. I destroyed this already. Is it pretty yet? Let's build a happy little cloud today. So I'm going crazy right now. How are you guys? Tight little circular strokes. And you had to make big decisions here. Where does your cloud live? Maybe this is a lady friend. See how easy that is? You can do it. You can do it. Honestly, I thought I was gonna do horrible, but you know what? I think I'm a better painter than him, not gonna lie. Cut us off a little roll of paint right on the edge of the knife. Okay. Well, I don't have a knife, so should I just use this sponge? Like, it's gonna- I know it's gonna go horribly wrong, but... Honestly, nothing can make this painting worse than it already is. And mountains are one of the most fun and educational things to paint. Now I want to pull that color. Because this canvas is wet, you can move the color. And we blend it out. Take the point of the knife, put it right up here on the point of your mountain. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Just let it float. Just let it float. And you want the paint to break. And by break, it means have all these holes left in it. Oh my god, guys, I'm so good at this. Things used to drive oh, me there's crazy. some weird trees. Reflections. Watch how easy. Just grab that and pull it down. Because they can, but that's okay, so we're going to put some and ripples. I need more white. Maybe From now on, I'm not going to show you until the final. It's just too good to see. Okay, so now we're going to do a tree. Corner the brush. See there? And you can do this with a two-inch brush. 
or, or the fan brush. Fan brush makes some nice, delicate ones. One inch brush. Any Final reveal. Here's Bob Ross's. You can see his. It's it's pretty average. There it is. Oh my god, guys, it looks so good. It like practically looks like his, just better. So yeah, that was my Bob Ross follow along. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell so you are notified whenever I upload a video, which should be every Saturday. Thank you guys for joining in, and I'll see you next week. Bye.